Hey everyone, last few videos we've talked about big trendy topics like waste stream contamination and the circular economy. Today, we're going to talk about something that's probably affected everybody at one point or another. What do you do with those tricky items you can only sometimes recycle, like pizza boxes and coffee cups? But more importantly, what is the actual process that makes these items difficult to recycle? First up, pizza boxes. This cardboard container seems like a recycling no-brainer, and it would be if not for the delicious contents it once held. Pizza is a greasy, cheesy mess, all the way from cooking to cleanup to curbside collection. And this paired with the fact that pizza boxes are essentially a paper product spells disaster for recycling facilities. To show a simplified example of the process of recycling cardboard, I brought in this bottle of water and shoved a whole bunch of greasy, oily cardboard on the inside and let it settle overnight. In a recycling facility, they'd have large vats of water with pulverizers and agitators that are used to help break apart the fibers in the cardboard. But here, we're just going to give it a good shake. Now remember, water, oil and grease, they don't exactly mix. What we can see now is that the oil and grease that had absorbed into the cardboard box is now beginning to come out during the agitation process. This oily, greasy layer is what actually stops the fibers from pulling apart in the recycling process, and this can ruin the entire batch of recyclables. Here's a recycling pro tip. You can recycle pizza boxes that are grease and cheese free. You can even just tear off the tops and throw away the spotty bits, or you can turn it into a neat arts and crafts project. Next up, coffee cups. Man, these are probably one of the worst offenders for being confusing, and they're everywhere. If you buy one coffee a day, by the end of the year, you'll have generated over 23 pounds of waste. And each coffee cup during the manufacturing process is responsible for 0.23 pounds of carbon dioxide emissions. That means over 100 million pounds of carbon dioxide are released every year just from the manufacturing of coffee cups. This means that the carbon dioxide emissions from coffee cups in America alone are responsible for as much CO2 emissions as a quarter of the country of Ireland. At first glance, coffee cups seem like your regular paper cups, but beneath that creamy, sugary bean water is a thin plastic polyethylene film separating your java juice from the cup. This seemingly insignificant, itty bitty, teeny tiny plastic layer is causing huge waves in the recycling industry as to how to deal with it. Some places say that coffee cups are actually an organic material. I mean, it is paper-based after all, and that the thin plastic layering doesn't interfere with the decomposition process whatsoever. They say that if there is any plastic left in the material at the end, it can just be screened out. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want microplastics in my garden compost. Other places want you to put the coffee cup in the recycling bin. They say the technology has advanced to a point that they can actually separate the plastic from the paper in the cup using specialized machinery. Most places, however, say it's just too much of a hassle to throw it out in the recycling or in the organic bin. So they tell you to put it in the waste. But we can do better than that, can't we? Why not bring your own mug? Or better yet, drink your coffee at home. The tricky thing about recycling is that there's very little standardization across the entire industry. Some things that can be collected in one municipality or in one region can't be collected in the other. If you're unsure of what items can and can't be recycled in your area, just pick up your phone, call your local waste collector, and they'll be more than happy to tell you where it goes. That's it for today. Remember, every little bit helps. So slice up your pizza boxes and percolate your coffee at home. If you have any ideas for hard to recycle items that you'd like to know a little bit more about, either send us an email, drop us a comment below, and we might even feature you in the next video.